right. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's James here, or you may know me as Kimothy. Um, for my YouTube video, I wanted to do something different. Uh, so today we're gonna be giving you a full gameplay. Uh, hopefully talking about the matchup and the game in general. So a bit about myself, I ended in Diamond last season and right now we are currently early into season 10 and we are at plat 2 right now I think? Yeah, should be. So we're at plat 2 and we're currently climbing so yeah. This matchup we're actually against a Skarner top. Um, he's not running Aftershock so I think the lane should be a bit better. Um, I could have started Doran Shield, Doran's Blade, or Longsword and three pots, but I actually went Doran's Blade in because Skarner's main way of trading is by procking the, the stun and then autoing and then pretty much running away. So, uh, yeah. I can't say that I played this matchup too many times. I played it once before. So, uh, I just know that it was really annoying because he went Aftershock last time and then he just stunned me and then <laughs> ran away. It was kind of annoying. Um, my runes are actually going to be Conqueror, I'm running Triumph, I'm running uh, Alacrity and Coupe de Gras. For secondary, I am running uh, Shield Bash and Bone Plating. So hopefully that'll be okay. Um, right now they have an Elise jungler, so I know that she could be ganking top, especially with Skarner stuns. It's a free lockdown, that's why I didn't go Longsword. If it wasn't Elise, I might have gone Longsword, but um, that's the reason why. I'm waiting for my bot lane to go down before I show myself, and I actually took an uh, an MR rune because of Elise and Skarner does have a bit of magic damage. I'm walking up now. I don't think Skarner did a leap for them. So yeah, so that uh, little thing that he shoots out is actually a stun if he procs it. So I don't think I actually win uh, if he goes against me. Best thing I can do here is just take that. Take one CS back. And I think he's gonna try and stun me here. But the best thing I can do is just try to trade with my W um, and get CS with it as well. So Camille's really strong early, I think, uh, because of her shield and her passive. It actually lets her trade really efficiently. Uh, I'm gonna W here again. And trade like that, yeah, she's okay. Nice. So we're actually uh, pushing it in, so I'm gonna go do an early uh, ward here, just so I can see, because I think at least started red side. So I don't want to get ganked that early on. Um, he walked back to that one. That's fine. Okay, okay. Echo wants to come here, but... Nice! So, I had to flash for that. Um, oh, yeah, so this is there. Yeah, there she was. I'm really happy that Echo came forward with this Because that actually enabled us to get the gank off of the Shove that in. Like that. Nice, really good trade. If police goes back here, I can try and kill her. Um. Oh wait, wait, this is kind of risky, but. Okay, that's my bad. I ran it down. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of greedy of me, but uh, I want to try that out. See what it goes. Um, so I'm going to go double longsword here, and I'm going to try and get... Wow, I can't get my TMS. I'm just going to go extra longsword. I'm going to go back to lane. Um, Katarina died there, and I died there. That's my bad. Um, but we can say that his flash... flash same F timer. Um, should be okay. At least Skarna didn't get an assist from that, and he had a slow TP. His TP was about... Um, I would say about 10 minutes. 9.45. Skarner TP. So Skarner, once he gets level 6, his gank threat becomes incredibly high because of his ability to chain stun. I've like, uh, been a victim of that and, and it's like, <laughs> it's just so long, dude. Um, Echo's ganking bot, which is really good. He's actually making a lot of proactive plays. Did they get one? Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> Try to kill that really fast. So, as a Camille, right, you can either max uh, W, I mean, sorry, Q or E, 
Uh, in matchups where they're really far range, I would max E. But because it's a Skarner and Skarner gets really tanky, I want to max Q first to get that additional free damage in. Uh, I'm gonna think that he's missing. Oh, that's really good, guys. That's really good. That's really good. Nice job. He's still missing. Uh, their mid is actually an Aphelios. It's my first time seeing Aphelios mid. But I think Aphelios is a really good champion right now. Um, so that shouldn't be that bad anyway. Uh, scaling wise, I think. Okay, they do have double 80 carry, but Elise is really. She, she falls off later. So I, I, I would. Wait. I would reckon her job is just getting. Wait. I don't know what you wanted to do there. My minion was way was stacked. Maybe she's baiting for Elise, actually. It's like the way he's playing, I'm like getting baited. So I kind of want to play back here. Take the cannon. I think in top lane, in this matchup especially, uh, what matters more is about getting farm than kills. Um, Skarner will still be relevant. And if he fights like that, I'm okay. Oh, I was getting baited. Oh, what? That's so annoying. Damn, that really sucks. I was trying to find a way of escape or try to kill Skarna as I went down. Um, I'm really glad the Echo is going to Dragon, though. And I, I like... Because Elise really wants to camp top early. That's what I've seen a lot of my experience. But um, I'm glad that I have TP here. Uh, if I TP here, I don't think Elise can try and kill me here. Especially because Skarna is 1 HP. So what I can actually do here is actually freeze the wave. Which I think is really strong against Skarna. And at least it's topside, so I can ping that she's still here. I'm gonna back away here now that it's frozen. Um, unlucky that they went to the bushes though. But it should be okay. My not your I hope they really get that. On our team, scaling is really good, especially on Jin, so I really want to get that dragon. Um, I don't know if Echo will walk in, but we'll be okay. Yeah. He's missing. Um, CS wise, I I would say I'm doing okay. It's 50. It could be better, but um, it's our fault that we died twice. So. Gonna try and slow push it in, and then get it back off. I don't want to back as it's shoved in, so I think right now I'm gonna hard shove. If I hard shove right now, right, I can get probably a good recovery. Um. He might try and get a freeze here, especially with this next minions. But if I let it freeze, uh, I can actually get a. I can actually go down and get something to help. Because I know he's no DP, because he did use DP earlier. So if I provide it, if I go down right now, I can actually help my team out, which is really good. Or I can just try and steal the scuba. So I saw Leaf Ball. Oh, really good job, guys. Let's go, dude. Okay, that's fine. Midwave is shoving in and it's frozen for Katarina, that's really good. But I hope she wait she get it. I wanna collect that wave if she doesn't get it, but it's a cannon, so I'm assuming it's gonna be okay. Um Dragon is still up now, which is okay, whatever. He goes for the cannon, I can try and take this. Just shoving it in. I don't wanna fight him right now. He could just CC me and then I would take a lot of damage from minions, especially with the Sheen as well. He's probably gonna go, um, Iceborne. Okay, that's fine. Um, when he goes to the CS. I'm just thinning out the minion wave a bit as I go with poking him. Wow, he, he just went back to lane. Okay, so my miss kind of getting smashed. Um, that's <laughs> unlucky, but we'll do what we can to get back. I'm not looking to freeze here because Dragon's still up. My team is going forward and I want to keep pressure top in case Skarner does go down. So I'm going to hard shot this one. Nice shot, guys. That's really good. I think like on certain Dragons, we have to compete. And then on other ones, we don't necessarily have to. I can try and fight Skarner here. Okay. 
tried to hold the minions because he wanted to freeze, but I went straight on him. Not because uh, I would lose the fight, but because I saw Elise down there. And that's really good for me. I could shovel another one, but it's cannon wave. It's going to push back, so I don't really want to. I'm going to get Sheen. I'm going to get Boots, and I should be good to go. On Camille, you can either run um, straight Trinity, or you can run um, Hydra first. But the most common one, I would feel, is just going Tiamat and then uh, Trinity. Trinity is for when you're really ahead. Um, but uh, Hydra, I would say you just go when you're behind. Because it's cheaper and it provides a lot of good value. The wave is pushing towards me, so I don't want to bother that. So I'm just going to take Krugs in the meantime. And then should be good over here. The Krugs will reset because the main one died. I'm going to try and put a ward down. I, I think Elise should be covering topside now. So I'm gonna place a ward there, and then oh, okay. I don't know if they can help. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I knew there was three there. Oh, it's unlucky. But at least we got dragon for it. Uh, yeah. But so far, that's okay. I'm level nine here. He's level 8, even, and I have a wave shoved in, so I'm going to be at a level advantage too. So, uh, Skarner, I don't think he can get these minions, unless he uses his um, long-range space shot for it. Echo's mid again, that's fine. Um, he doesn't need to come top. I just want that to help. Oh, that's really good. Nice job, guys. Okay, so he's going down, he's going to shove straight away. Um, and then once he comes back, I can try and fight him here. I'm assuming he's gonna come. Oh, okay, there he is. So that means I can actually get a few plating, maybe one, one or two, um, because I saw these spot as well. So it's really about just like taking advantages when you see uh, an enemies out of place with vision. What? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, that's grief. <coughs> but Camille's actually really good at taking turrets uh, with Sheen because she's really strong uh, with her Qs. Yeah, so he was gone just for a bit, and I even took two platings. I'm gonna back off here. Uh, usually you don't want to back off here, but it's kind of greedy. Um, but hopefully he won't check and stop me. <laughs> Alright, that's really good. Uh, I'm gonna run back now. I'm gonna get sweepers here to deny the vision. And then eventually I want to get a blue drink hit as well. Um, this is not a cannon wave, so he's gonna shove in quite fast. Uh, I do have TP. I'm gonna let my team know. Skarna and I both have TP. Yeah, but the early game was kind of a grief, but um, hopefully <laughs> we can show you better gameplay. Okay, okay, that's really good. So he should, he should back off now. Um, it's a cannon wave, but I can push it really fast with Tiamat, regardless, so... Let's just try and do that, get a plating, because plating is going to go away in about 30 seconds. So what I can... Oh, geez, okay. I think I'm- I think I'm really being baited. Oh wait, it's not even there. I had to flash away there, um, not because- Okay, it's because I was taking turret aggro. So if I flashed away, I could reset, get my true damage off, and then kill him. Um, if you guys saw, when I was clicking turret aggro, I took my Q1 against him, and then I flashed away, eat back in, and got him there. Um, turret is going down, but I can actually get first power here. <laughs> That's kind of huge, actually. <laughs> That's really good. Wow, I, I like got back to the game despite me <laughs> griefing really early. That's really good. Uh, another side note, actually, on Camille, I've been maxing E second um, instead of my ult. I think it's really strong for the offset that damage that it gives you. So I got Trinity Force here, that's really strong. I'm gonna sell my potion, I'm gonna get. Uh, wait. Merc Treads. Uh, I'm gonna swap for a Blue Trinket. It's because uh, I think their CC is really strong. Um, but. Despite them having double AD carry, I can get a GA later and hopefully tank them enough. Uh, I got my first turret, so I want to try and help my teammates get this one. 
we got bottom one, we got top one, and now we just need the middle one. And then that opens the back up really huge. So if you're if you're ahead, you can just help your team like that. Nice job, guys. We can actually use Herald. Oh, they're using Herald here, so we can try and stop them here. Um, they might. I think they're gonna really try and walk it down because it's Herald. I ain't get an assist because at least stunned me, dude. That's so lame. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Okay, let's try and get mid Um, uh, A Felix is here. Can we try and kill him? I wonder if we can. Let's bard in myself. Oh, never mind. He's here. Oh, this is really dangerous with Skarner. At least he's right here. Um, but I can try and walk up here if he stops. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, you're so lame. Yeah. I agree with that one. I agreed it too hard for that, uh, scuttle. I knew at least there, that's why I blue trinketed it, but, um, that's really my bad. I can say. I got TP when I'm up, if anything. Yeah, like I make a, I make some mistakes here and there. I'm not the best player, but uh, <laughs> I think Diamond is like around there. Um, but yeah. So, okay. I'm gonna get my Merc Treads here. And I can TP to help him with any. I don't know if, oh, I think he can kill him actually. He got Treads Mike too. That's really good. I want to go for a bit. Oh, okay. That's, good. That's a bit too deep, bro. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to be straight away. Um, Echo managed to get Scarna, which is really good. Um, but I'm gonna try and get her here. I'm gonna plant a deep ward right in this bush. It can actually get a lot of. Uh, information about the team. We've got a blue trinket there, which is really good. Get that vision in. I'm gonna shove one more wave top and then probably go back. So second item, I really want to finish my Ravenous Hydra as well. And then third item, most likely, we're gonna go Scarab. So that, that's the standard move. Okay. Uh, Nice. So, I think late game and mid game, Camille can really uh, be used as a split pusher. He's really strong, um, 1v1s, especially now that my counterpart is really behind. I'm gonna try and finish my item. Pink ward, it should be okay. I think if Jin can stick with my team, it's really good. Um, the next threat is actually gonna be Herald. But uh, Baron and Cloud's up really soon. I think this team comp, looking at Baron threat, it's kind of low. Katarina can't do much against Baron. Jin autos really slowly. Bard is is okay, I guess. And the only good at person doing a Baron is myself. And I think they have a stronger Baron threat, so it's better if I bring them down here against me, or I can just pressure them off Baron. Nice, so they're getting a lot of pressure down mid. Um, if they lose, it's okay. If they go even, that's the best thing I can. And I can just try and get another surf here. Ah, oh, there he is, okay. okay. I didn't think he was gonna ult straight away, but I mean, if they send two bot like this, right? It's not that good for them. It just might might just uh, trash on them, you know. So <laughs> okay, they just kind of make mistakes. Too. And then I'm just gonna go back bot. So I'm just gonna go back bot again. They can reset if they wish. Um, but they're just pushing back mid. What? You should be dead, right? I'm gonna try and put a pink horde anywhere. I really want this top bottom turret so that it's a lot more pressure for us. Um, 
if Lucius stays, I can kind of kill him. Oh. Camille's really good at escaping too. Because her ult pushes away everyone else, uh, it's kind of easy to escape. If they don't have any uh, more stuns. That's really good. Um, th so I drew three of them down bot. Dragon is up. I'm gonna come back for that. Oh, I'm so close, man. Okay, screw it. I sold that. <laughs> That's really good for it. I think that power spike is really strong. So I sold my Dorns for that. Um, next item will be Sterix, and Camille doesn't really turn on until Sterix because she needs a lot of health to sustain her damage, I think. Because right now I have a lot of damage, but not much tankiness. Yay! Okay, okay. Um, but should be okay. And then now I can max my ult because I've already maxed my E. Plus, I think maxing E second is just really good for the cooldown. You can just jump everywhere. Skarner's top. Still hasn't got first turret. Um, I'm gonna see if anyone comes here to stop me. Because I don't know where they've warded, but I did see Elise top. Ah, there we go. Okay, I don't know how strong a is, not gonna lie, so I'm just gonna play back here. If he walks into me, I'm for sure gonna go onto him. I don't see anyone else if he backed up. So I don't want to go to the room. See which way he walks. Step on the march um, of progress. If he comes here, I can try and kill him, but I can also try and go. Oh, jeez. Come on. Dash. Okay, now I can go ahead. Here. I just zoned them away, uh, and then I want to go here. Start off with me. Oh my god! <laughs> dude, this is- Dude, Aphelius is so strong, man! Okay, see? Uh, anyway, that was a bit funny. Uh, I didn't even- Okay, honestly, right? I didn't even know how Aphelius does that. <laughs> uh, we just get him first. Uh, so I think we just got grouped up too much. Um, it's really unlucky, but hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do against that. Um, I could run sweepers now that I'm gonna split push more. Um, I'm gonna run a pink horde here. But I think false horse I should be okay. I think should be okay. Um, I'm gonna split bottom. I got TP in case they come to me. We can do Baron. We don't have much of a Baron thread, but I think Jin's fed enough that he can do chunks of Baron's HP, and especially if I can handle one of them. Yeah. The so I'm just gonna go back bot, try and go against, I don't know if he has flash actually. If he comes in, I might try and kill him. I'm showing myself here. I just want to farm till stairs like really bad. Then I can start coming to fights and start destroying them. Oh, that's a really good job guys. Yeah, <laughs> my team's just running them down. That's so good, that's so good. Uh, Lucian is there. I can try and get a wave bot in case they want to rotate down here. Nice job, guys. Shut down. Yeah, this game's kind of snowballed out of control, despite that last fight. Uh, I feel like it's died anyway. Um, well, we can try and get mid bottom. If they come for me, they have to give up it. Yeah.
should be really good. I can get my um, components of Sterix, and we can be really strong for the next fight. But I did blow my flash. Should be good, guys. Uh, I can go top, actually. Since we have mid and bot pressure, uh, due to the super minions. Should be really good. Um, I think they can get this. Oh, I really... I'm like considering if I should be there or not. Oh, wait, I feel like stopped. Never mind. We're good, we're good, we're good. He's down, he's, he's up here. Because it is our soul, so it's really strong. Despite it being Cloud. Um, but if Felix is not there, I think we pretty much guarantee have it. And I just want to keep pressure up everywhere. Come on, guys, I trust you. Felix is there. Wow, look at that damage, dude. Okay. There's two tops, so at least we got Dragon for that, you know? Mm, I can keep... Okay, if I keep Aphelios here, I think we can win. It's more about, like, denying Aphelios from meeting my team. Ah, perfect. Okay, really good. That's good, that's good. I just draw him here and there. Because he wants to stun me, but if I stun him... No, 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 please, please! Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't want to die again, man! Oh, he's got destroyed. Okay. Alright, let me try and go in here. I might just suicide, but... Do it, man. Okay. I hate this game pretty much down now. <laughs> it's snowballed pretty hard. YouTube from like highlights and clips, but I hope uh, this can give you some insight about rank. It is a flat two game, um, but and it was pretty snowballed. But I hope you guys can see which part it snowballed on um, the mistakes that I made and how much I ended up winning. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.